Hi everybody, Lori here. I wanted to give you an update on what I read this weekend and then remind you of what I'll be reading for the magical Christmas at Hogwarts or whatever you want to call it. It's called um, Magical Readathon Christmas at Hogwarts that G at, at Book Roast is doing. The channel is called Book Roast, but everybody calls her G. So, I did manage to finish one book, and that was Crown of Midnight. So, I did finish that this weekend. It was like on 198, somewhere around there this morning. So, and there's 400 and something pages, so I read over 200 pages today. So, yeah, I finished that. I started um, Impressive, Impressive All Seasons. I'm not very far, so I don't have enough like of a, of a um, impression yet to tell you what I'm thinking about it because I'm only on page 46. The characters so far seem pretty interesting, and there's creepiness involved in it already, so we'll see what happens. But I'm really, I think it's going to be a good book, but who knows? It's always change. And then I read some more in... Harry Potter, which is the Order of the Phoenix. I'm on like 370, I believe. Yeah, 370. And this will also be the book that the first book I'm reading for the readathon, which is um it's um finish your coursework. So read the book you're currently reading. So I'm gonna read some more of this after I'm done with the video, so. Hopefully I'll at least get to 4, 4.50 tonight before I go to bed and then I'll have like another 400 pages I think because there's like 870 pages so yeah so I'm hoping to get pretty f like at least another 100 anywhere from 70 pages to 100 in before I go to bed tonight at least. Well, now like I said it's going to be coursework. I do have the audio. I'm just not really in an audio mood right now so I might like listen to some of it on audio tomorrow though because uh we're gonna be going out and stuff me and my husband and i don't know if i want to carry this big ass book along so most likely i'm gonna be taking this with me i mean listen to the audio of it the only thing i don't like about listening to the audio is that i'm not gonna take the book with me and, I, and i'm annotating as you can tell so yeah so that'll be the first one. And then the next one is that I'm doing is help Haggart decorate the tree, which is golden detail on the cover. And for that one, I'm doing a reread of the Curl Prince. So that definitely goes golden. That's all golden. The crown's golden. And I want to do a reread because I want to, like I said, I want to see if. If it's as bad as I remember it to be, or if I like it actually more, because I haven't read this since last January, and I didn't do a review on it, because I didn't know how I felt about it really enough to do a review. So I want to try to read it this time, and, you know, before I can do a review. This is almost 400 pages, like 370, 372, something like that. But I also want to reread it, because... The Wicked, the Wicked King or whatever it's called comes out next month. I'll be getting that one from Owl Crate because this one's an Owl Crate cover too. So they said it's going to be, the next one will be like, you know, it'll be something like this, you know, kind of match this one. So I'm really excited to see if I'm going to like it. But even if I don't like it that much, I'm still going to, of course, since I bought the Wicked King special box from Owl Crate, I'll definitely be reading that one at least giving it one more chance so that'll be the second one after this and this one i also have on audio the thing is you're not supposed to like skip so it's i can't like you know read this one first and then go back to this one or if i do read skip and read this one first and this one i don't finish this one then i, I can't, you know kind of then you can't count you know that you that you passed <laughs> and then the next one is Visit Three Broomsticks, something that will, a book that you can finish in one day or an evening. And 
There's two in this one. I read the first one already. So I'm going to read the second one, which is Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator, which is like a hundred and 160 pages. I should be able to finish that in a day. And if I decide to change my mind, I might change my mind and do a magna, mag, mag, manga, manga, because I haven't read a manga in a while. But I'll let you guys know if I, if that changes. But for right now, this is my plans to read this one, because I'm not sure which manga I would want to read. So we'll see. The next time, the next one is, that I chose was to attend the Yule Ball, in case you don't remember, and that's like a book that you were preparing yourself for. And like I mentioned in my video, this book, I'm just so scared because of the hype that I'm not going to like it. So I've been trying to like prepare myself to go into it. To, and, you know, like, come on, Lori, you got to read it. You're not going to know if you like it or not unless you read it. But it's so big on YouTube, and I'm so afraid that I'm not going to like it like a lot of people. So it definitely have to prepare and that's the seven, seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This could have worked for the golden detail, too, because there is gold down here. But Then the next one that has to do um, with an actual reading of the book is, that I picked is, Take a Festive, festive Treat to he Hog, Hogwig, Hogwid, I would say his name, Higwid, at the Owlery. Which is an animal on the cover, in the title, or a series name. And for that one, I picked Jessica Townsmore's book, which is Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow. That's Crow in it, so that's an animal, so that covers it. There's a cat, so that covers it. <laughs> the cat there. So, yeah, I could use this one, too. And I'm really looking forward to this one. This one I also have on audio. This one has... Hopefully I can read it. This one has, let's see... 400 and... That's acknowledgement. 461 pages. So I might have to listen to audio. I hope I can get to all these. And if I do manage to get to all of them... Next one is a celebration. I'm sorry, I know this camera is like really going blurry we can't get it to not be blurry i'm sorry but if we if you finish everything which is 10 the um christmas feast then you get to watch a harry potter movie you get to reward yourself with celebrating by having a harry potter movie one and those are it so yeah I am really excited. And then I was just going to talk to you a little bit about my day. So today we went to church. The kids, the little kids there had like a, their Christmas, you know, show for church. It was so cute. You know, they were doing the, um, you know, when baby G, you know, when he, when Mary was getting ready to, have Jesus. And that was, they were so cute. And they were like adding some funny little things in. So that was a nice church service. We didn't do what is called communion. In case you don't know what you know communion is. It's where you take the bread. Which is. You know. Bread and body. Well anyways. We didn't do that today. We didn't do that. And then after that we went. Over to Denny's and ate breakfast. And then after breakfast, we went to, uh, what was it? I always forget the name. Myers and just bought some food for tonight, what we ate tonight, which was hot dogs. And then I finished up, like I said, Crown and Midnight, which was really good. And then I read like 20 more pages in the Harry Potter book. And then we watched the first Home Alone movie. And that's basically all that we did today. We had a good, good day. I don't know how much reading I'll get done tomorrow, like I said, because 
we have to go fin me and my husband when the kids are at school we're gonna go finish up our christmas shop and we don't have much more to do and then um, we're gonna come home and then we gotta go grocery shopping my oldest daughter has seizures in case she I'm sure I mentioned it plenty of times, but yeah, she has a seizure, so we have to go pick up her medicine. We found out that she doesn't have insurance because my husband's um, the military. That's the only one he's got insurance through right now. Won't cover her because they don't, because, you know, she has special needs and things, and her thing ain't like, you know, they don't consider it a school. They said she would have to go to college because she's 21 now. So she would have to go to college in order for her to still be on his insurance. Yeah. So now I got to call Medicaid and get up, get an appointment set for her. Yeah. It's just been the last few days, you know. And I've been battling a little bit of depression the last few days. Today, I've been good, but the last couple of days, I was just, like, really fighting depression a lot. I try, like, to not come on here when I'm upset or when I'm, like, I get in one of my depression moods. I mean, Friday morning, all I did was, like, cry, cry, cry. I don't know what like really brought it on but I just like my, Friday was just a really bad day in my emotional you know department there but yeah so now we got to call Medicaid see if there's any way we can get her on Medicaid which hopefully we can since you know she's got a learning disability and everything and we're getting her on these other programs and she already got approved for the one program so we're hoping since you got improved for this one program, that Medicaid will take her. Because they, the people that she got approved from actually was the one that told us that we need to go to Medicaid. And yeah, to um, set her up an appointment. So, and we're still waiting, you know, could be like three, four more months, maybe longer before we know. If she's getting, um, what's it called, Social Security? Yeah, Social Security. So we shouldn't, I don't know how long that's going to take. Hopefully she gets approved, because sometimes they said, you first try, you don't get approved, but then you try again and you get approved. So we'll see. And then what else? So, yeah. So we got to go pick up her medicine. Luckily, um... When we were talking to Walgreens about it, they have like something called RX. We could go to this website, it's called RX, and you could download an app, and then there's coupons, and it'll save us a whole bunch of money for her medicine because that medicine, if we had to pay for it outright, I think they said it would be like two or three hundred dollars just for a month. It's just a lot of money, and if we use the coupon, it's like $17, $18, I believe. I'm not positive, but I think it's like, so, yeah. Because the military is like, well, we can get her on this one. There's one thing, but you have to pay so much of money a month, and it was like almost as much as just paying for one month's worth of, um, you know, her medicine. Then you would still have to do that one, you know, each month. So, either way, it's going to be. A lot of money. So, yeah. But, like I said, hopefully she'll get Medicaid and hopefully it don't take as long to get approved or not approved for Medicaid as it does for for Social Security. I think Social Security, like if you get approved, they back pay you. So she should be getting, you know, extra money. Because I think it, what it is is like if I'm not mistaken, you get, like, you'll get back paid from, like, when you first applied, which was in December, we put, put apply, applied, so say, we don't get, we don't know until March, then, you know, I'll give her money for, you know. You going to bed? Yeah. Night. Love you. Night. Hang out some. It's my son getting ready to go to bed.
But yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update on what's going on in my life. In case you guys ever see me a little down in the dumps. You know why. And then we found out that my mom might have, um, what's it called? Parkins? Parkins? Parkinson, however you say that word. And they think she might have had a mini stroke at one time. That's make that's doing all this because she has a lot of health issues. No, she is in her eighties. My mom's yeah. So yeah, so I'm worried about that. But yeah, I think I think she'll be fine. Hopefully, she'll be around for a while longer. But so I just got a lot of things like on my mind. Things to like that I have to worry about, and you don't really want to worry about these things when it's the holidays, you know. But yeah, let's talk about some better stuff. But yeah, so tomorrow, like I said, we're gonna go and finish up the Christmas shopping, which is gonna be fun. We're gonna go out to the mall, we're gonna see if we can find um, my niece, which is my husband's goddaughter she loves Paw Patrol so we're gonna go and see if we can find her a stuffed animal that's Paw Patrol or we're gonna go to um what's it called um build a bear and get her one because they do have Paw Patrol things at build a bear and we already got her this really cute um backpack she can't she's not old enough to go to school yet but you know how it is when you have older brothers and sisters and you see them with things. So she wanted a backpack really bad. So we got her a Paw Patrol backpack. It has like a cute little lunch thing on it for lunches. So yeah. So that's what we're going to do. And then we got to go get each of the girls another outfit. My son a sweater. Yeah. So... Yeah, and then I gotta get Robin one, which is the oldest. I gotta go get her one more, um, like, regular present. Because we already got Hannah and Vince all theirs. Even though I'm waiting on the one thing that I ordered for Hannah. And another thing that I ordered for Vince. So we'll see if it gets here by Christmas. My kids. They go with the flow, so if it's... I told them I ordered them something, and if it's not here by Christmas, we'll get a couple days after. And they're good with that. As long as they have their other presents, they're happy. You know. But yeah, and we also have to go get our cat, Callie. Something for Christmas. Because Hannah wants to get her a cat bed. And then a couple of toys to go with the cat bed. So, yeah. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be done with our, our, um, you know, not Christmas shopping. Um, I'll be right back. I'm just going to leave just for one second. Okay, I am back. I just wanted to shut the door. But yeah. So I got my husband already. I ordered him some for Christmas. That's why I wanted to shut the door. I didn't want him to hear it because the door was open. But when we were dating, he used to love um, Calvin and Hops. So I bought him three of those. So that's what I got him because what happened was he thought I would like him because he knew I was a reader and I don't know if I lent it to somebody and it got lost or or if it just got you know misplaced somewhere or whatnot but yeah so I thought that would be like a kind of like a walk down memory lane type of thing with him so Hopefully he'll like that. But that's supposed to be here like Tuesday. So, and I want to go if possible and get him one more thing. 
So hopefully I can find it one more thing to get them to go with it, the Kelvin and Hobbes comics. I think they're comics. I forget what they consider those. I think they consider them like comics. They look like comics to me. So, but yeah. I'm really like ready for Christmas to get here and be over with. I love Christmas. I'm not like a lot of people that don't like it. I do like it. But I'm always happy when it's over with. Because it's very tiring Christmases. Just buying the presents and stuff. You know, it's tiring. Yeah. But I think that's about all I wanted to talk about. I just thought I would give you a little bit of an update of what's going on in my life. And what I'm reading. What I finished reading. What I plan to read. You know. But yeah, today though was a good, good day, like I was saying. I mean, that Christmas <laughs> that little Christmas thing was really neat. We didn't even know that was going to happen, like, because we didn't, we, you know, I was sick last weekend and my husband was so tired, so we didn't get to go to church last weekend, so we didn't know that the, that they were doing the play this weekend. So when we first got to church, <laughs> we went and sat downstairs, because usually that's where it is at 9.15. And then 11-something is up, upstairs. So we sat where we normally sat. And then they said, well, you gotta go upstairs. And we're like, why is that upstairs? Why do we have to go upstairs? And then they told us. So, yeah. But it was fun. They sing, um, they sung, what do they say? Away in a manger, no crib for his bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. And then what else did they sing? They sung like three or four more songs. I just can't remember off the top. I think they sung. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. I don't know how the rest goes, but that one. I don't know, a couple other ones that I can't remember off the top of my head. But yeah, joy, but I love joy to the world. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. I forget how that one goes. But anyways, yeah. So, yeah. It was cute. They were doing, like I said, the story of Mary finding out that she was going to have G, you know, Jesus, and then the angel coming to her, and then the angel going to Joseph and saying that his fiance was going to be pregnant. Yeah. They did the whole birth thing, but like I said, they added in the the ad lib, ad lib. How do you say that word? You know, like little things to make you laugh. <laughs> it was cute. Um, they had this one person because you know, in the the story goes that they didn't have no um room in the inn, so they had to sleep in the barn. And they had to have him in the barn. And this one kid had a sign on on him, and it said, um, no vacancy, and she was, like, standing up, like, with the thing and jiggling it. <laughs> it was so cute. I mean, these kids were adorable. One of the girls had, like, the angel wings on it, because she's supposed to be the angel, you know, giving the message to Joseph and Mary, and it was just cute. I mean, kids are so adorable. And if you guys, you know, enough of that one but look at my hair you guys have you noticed it's like really growing like it's really growing like i'm gonna show you the back if you can see it but look at the back it's like really really growing in the back and as you can see the front's like long there goes my camera again but i'm gonna probably let the sides and the i mean the sides grow in the back but I'm probably going to get the bangs cut so Because um, in July, the end of July, we're going to our family reunion in Iowa. And I want to get my hair as long as I possibly can before then and get a spiral. Like the beginning of July for, you know. So I'm trying to let the back and the, the sides really grow. But these bangs just do not want to do anything like... You can see. Then I try using those one things that tie, and I can't get it to tie. And Bethany, 
one of another YouTuber was, well, her hair's a lot longer, but that's how she gets them to tie is that her hair is long enough that she can put it in a ponytail and, you know, put it that way. And then she ties it and stuff and then she lets a ponytail out. But I can't do that because mine ain't long enough yet. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys like it long, like it as it's getting long? Because, I mean, this is like really long, you guys. Like, look at this. The sides are growing so much, too. So, yeah. Do you think I would look good with long hair? Well, you guys will be finding out soon. But, yeah. I'm really liking it. It's like, I didn't realize until today, like, how long it's getting. Because my hair is usually cut a lot shorter. But I was like, nope, I'm not cutting it anymore besides the bangs. But I don't want to, like, probably like a two to three months before. Probably like in, because it only takes like a, not even a month for my hair to get this long in the front. So, probably like a month and a half before. So, probably like the end of um, May. I'll probably just not get it cut anymore until I get it dyed. I mean, not dyed, but get the body wave in it. So, yeah. But what do you guys think about my hair? Do you think I should let it grow? Or do you think I should get it chopped? But I think that is it. Um, yeah. Just let me know down in the comments what you think about my hair. You think it would look cute long? I wish I can find like one time when I do a video I'll get a picture of what I looked like when I was younger with my hair long. So I have um some pictures somewhere of when I graduated high school when you have to get like your senior pictures. And my hair was so long and it was so dark because my hair is normally like a dark brown, like super dark. As dark as it can be uh, being brown without being black. <laughs> so yeah, one of these days I'll have to show you guys. I mean, it is like really long. Oh, you guys hear about Owl Crate? They're gonna start, um, instead of um, having their buttons that they have, they're gonna start doing an an enamel, enamel, enamel pins, or how do you say it instead? So they're getting rid of their one buttons, their normal buttons, and go into that. So starting next year, starting in January, you guys will be in an enamel, enamel. And not enamel pins instead of the regular button looking ones. For the most part, seem, people seem happy about it. Some people are kind of mad about it. Or not mad about it, but don't like the idea because they said they make their, the ones they get now into magnets, which I never thought about. So yeah, but I like it. I like en enamel, animal, and en enamel, I would say it pins. Actually, I use those more, even though I don't have one on right now. I use those a lot. And then they said probably like in March or April, they'll have something in one of their boxes for, you know, you could put your pins on in case you don't wear them. But they won't do that until then. You know, with, with the one, be, one being pregnant, she's due like next month sometime. I always forget her name. But yeah, she's pregnant, so you know, of course everybody knows that, but... Yeah, so she's due next month, so they, you know, a lot of things we're not going to be able to do for, until like the spring. So, yeah. But I thought that was neat that they were going to do that. Oh, and Fay Crates is going to be awesome next month. One of their candles. I mean, they're going to have a candle in theirs, and they're going to have a pa different Patreons, or how do you say it? You know, from Harry Potter, you know, pa pa Patreon, how do you say that word? You know what I mean, like how there's like a dog and all that. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, they're going to have different ones in the candle. And after you burn the candle, you'll get it out. And it will tell you, it will sort you into it. Patrona? Patrono? Is that how you say it? Patrono? So like that. But anyways, yeah. And it's going to, it'll like you can, and you'll get a charm. There'll be a charm inside. So once you're done, you can make it either into a bracelet or a necklace. So, I don't usually burn my candles, but that one I'll definitely burn. So, I thought that was neat when they were talking about that. That was their, um, 
like their sneak peek for what's gonna be in their January boxes. Oh, I am so excited to see what Patrono, how do you say it, I get. I did mine for Harry Potter, but I do not remember what my Patrono was. So we'll see what it says on mine. But yeah, I'm supposed to be Gryffindor, but I never feel like I'm a Gryffindor. I just feel like I should be, I don't know, probably, I kind of feel like I should be Hufflepuff. I just don't feel like a Griff, like I should be a Gryffindor. I don't know why, but I always get Gryffindor. One time I got a Hufflepuff with the other one. I forget what that one's called, but it like, it gives you like how much your percentage of each of the houses you are. Then it was Hufflepuff, and then I think Gryffindor, then um, Ravenclaw, and Slytherin was last. So, I hardly have any Slytherin in me. I have almost everything of the other three. But the first two were the closest. Like, they were super close. So, I guess I can consider my, myself a Rave, a Griffin Rave? A Griffin Huff? I mean, not Grave. A Griffin Sorry, my ears start hurting. <laughs> oh, I hate with it. Hufflepuff. I guess I could be like a Griffin Hufflepuff, a Hufflepuff Griffin. I don't know. I don't know what that would be. You know about a mixture of both of them? And that one box I'm supposed to be getting, whenever it comes, the festival box from Geek Gear. Whenever that comes, I don't know what um, house they're going to give me because I told them just give me... If they asked what house I was in, and I just, or what house I wanted, and I just said, surprise me. So when it gets here, we'll see if they put me in Gryffindor. So, yeah. I think that is it. Just want to let you know what was going on in my life, what I've been reading, just my life in general, you know, what we did today. Yeah. Now my question is, do any of you guys like Home Alone? And do you, do you guys like the older ones? I like the first Home Alone and the second Home Alone is okay. But I do not like, like the third. I don't know how many there was. Was there like three or four Home Alones? But I didn't like the other, I know the third one for sure. I know there was at least three and I couldn't stand that one. The first one is definitely my favorite. Yeah. So, because I like, um... I always forget the guy's name. The short one that's in the um, that's in it. I forget his name all the time, but I like him in that movie. He's so funny with that um, gold tooth. I think it's gold or silver, whatever color the tooth one tooth is. He's just so hilarious. Oh, and I have another question: Have any of you guys ever seen Baby's Day Out? That is a cute show. I haven't watched it in a while, but I love that one. It's about this boy, you know, this rich little baby gets kidnapped. And all these, um, you know, and he gets away. And then he just, like, leads the kidnappers on a whole bunch of craziness. And um, what you call it in it, the, um, the guy from Criminal Minds. I always forget his name on Criminal Minds. But he's uh, Joe something. His name is, I think, in real life. I can't remember it. But anyways, he's in there. He is so funny in that movie. So much bad half bad stuff happens to him in that, in that movie. That's probably one of my favorite movies. Yeah. But I'm going to let you guys go because I want to read some in this before I go to bed. Try to get, like, like I said, at least... 70 more pages read. I'd like to maybe longer. I would kind of like to get to 450, but I don't see that happening tonight. Uh, at least want to get to, maybe get to, let me see. Um, maybe get to, let me see, because I, I don't like to stop in the middle. I mean, I will, but I prefer not to. So maybe, let's see what's close to 450. You find what's close to four. 
fifty here. Like these pages are so long in here, like it's hard to find the what you're looking for. There's a lot of pages in this book, I mean, in one chapter. I'm still like going back, and it's not even close to 450. Maybe get to four, stop at 440. So try to read that much tonight, which would be, like I said, stop on 440. And then there's, I'll tell you exactly how many. There's 800 and 870. So yeah, 870. So if I can get to 440, then I'm a little bit over halfway. So yeah. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go because this is almost a 40 minute video and I wasn't planning to be this long. I was just going to do, you know, like a talk about the books I read and then what I was going to read for the readathon. And then I just felt like talking. But sometimes I get like that. But yeah, okay. I'm going to let you guys go. Enough of this rambling. Rambling, rambling, rambling. Remember, if you like this video, thanks about doing a thumbs up. If you like what you've seen and haven't subscribed yet, think about subscribing. And remember, if you do, to hit the bell icon. And yeah, if you ever need anybody to talk to, like I always say, I am here. Just leave comments in the down below in the comment section, and I'll get right back to you. And... And if you guys have any questions for me, list them down below and I'll write them down and then I will do a video on questions that you guys ask me. Or if there is a certain book that you think I should read and that you haven't noticed me mentioning or showing on my videos, let me know down below what you think I would like. And yeah, that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of the night or early morning or afternoon. Whatever the case may be, wherever you're at, and if you're if you're participating in the what did I say it's called again? Magical Redefined Christmas at Hogwarts. Remember, it starts tomorrow, which is the seventeenth, and ends on the twenty sixth. Boxing Day, I think that's what everybody says. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what. But yeah. So yeah, that is it. If you guys don't know about it and you're interesting interested. Just look for Book Roast, and you'll find it. It's B-O-O-K, and then it's that one line, and then Roast. But usually if you put Book, and then R, and start the R, it usually shows up. So, yeah. Because, yeah. She really has some neat things on her station. But, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Lori out. Bye.